Hey everyone, welcome to this video. As you have requested, this is an update to my progress in the Blogilates Beginner's Calendar 2.0. I have finished the entirety of four weeks in the month of May and I want to talk to you about my experience, um, how this felt for me, did it work or not for myself, and just some general thoughts if you are thinking of starting the Blogilates Challenge. Now, for those who are new to the term Blogilates, it is is created um, by Cassie Ho, who is a fitness instructor. She does a ton of videos over here on YouTube. She also has her website slash blog. She has a book. She has fitness gear. She's got the whole thing down. But she's very popular, and um, I know there are a lot of people who enjoy her workouts. She maintains um, a workout routine calendar every single month for those who are interested in joining her. She mixes it, mixes it up, and she also kind of plans every single day for you which is very easy for those of us who are not into planning our own fitness routines we just want to get something there and get it done but um, the beginners calendar I approach this with a couple of things in mind and I think you should know this as you're watching it number one like I said before in my previous uh, prelude video to this where I talked about I don't enjoy working out but I felt like I needed to get some fitness into my everyday life because I was feeling sluggish and out of energy easily Okay, um, my goals going into this was not to lose poundage on the scale. I'm not looking to, to lose total body weight, but I was looking to get more energized, to get into a more active routine, to feel more energized and in the zone in my everyday just life, um, get kind of more concentration, more energy, but also to lose a few inches in my silhouette. Okay, so I wasn't concerned about losing numbers on the scale in terms of weight, but I did want to lose an inch on top, on the bottom, you know, things like that, trim up versus losing weight. And another thing to note is that I did not follow any of her food guide or recipes. She often talks about that your fitness is 80% done in the kitchen and 20% done on the mat. Well, essentially, if it's only 20%, then why am I even working out? I don't know, but I will say that um, I did not follow her diets because I didn't find it necessary for myself as I wasn't looking to lose a lot of weight, but also um, I love what I eat. I'm not going to change right now. I don't think it's that terrible. I didn't purposely go out and eat junk food to see how this would work, but I didn't necessarily cut out junk food for my life either. So this um, update is really about just the fitness, the working out aspect of it, and not about all her diet plans and things like that. Hopefully, that gives you a good preface. Now, getting into this, um, I like the fact that her workouts do not require any equipment, at least for the beginner's calendar. And it seems like for her regular routines as well, you don't need equipment, or if you do, it's very simple equipment, like, you know, like a five pound dumbbell or something like that. So, I did, um, after the first week or so, decided I wanted a yoga mat. You don't need one, but I thought it would be nice to have one um, to continue with my fitness journey. And as well, I found that this in combination with the hardwood floor or out on the deck on some hard flat surface was a better feeling and a better, more natural grip for me to get through my routine versus on the carpet, which can be a little bit slippery. But note, do not put this over on very plush carpet. It's a bad idea. I have try and just end up falling over because it was really unstable. So it's nice that her routines are scheduled every single day and it's done in the way that you've got six days of working out back to back to back and then you've got one day of rest. You don't need to do this from Monday to a Sunday. You can do this from a Tuesday, from a Wednesday, a Friday, as long as you check off every single day um, as you're doing it consecutively and then take your rest day. It doesn't matter which day you start on. I just decided to do mine according to an actual calendar. So I started mine in the beginning of May and worked my way down that way for the four weeks. Now in the first week, pain. <laughs> mm, I would say that I I didn't start from absolute zero in um, total fitness. You know, I had some background in dance. I have some background in gymnastics. I did running once in a while, but this was the first time getting back into a systematic day in day out workout routine. So that was hard. Um, the first week was really training your mind to be in the zone every single day, but also getting your body used to all the positions and all the moves because they're all going to be new for you for the first time in the first week. 
but definitely it's also about getting reacquainted with your body and just being aware of oh I have this muscle here that I didn't know could hurt and you know I have this joint here that I didn't know could hurt and dig into the floor so things like that being more aware of your body first week and I would say especially for her beginner's calendar it's a lot of focus on your core area so your stomach your waist your tummy you know in that general area as well as your lower body there was not a lot of focus on your upper body which I would have liked a bit more but I understand that Blogilates, I assume based off of Pilates, is a lot of focus on your core. So that made sense in terms of what she's doing and how this calendar is set up to be. Now, first week, bad. Um, I was feeling pain in places that you know I could feel pain. I was like, man, I'm really out of shape. Man, I'm really out of balance. Man, I'm really out of flexibility. <laughs> you know, all those things that you didn't think you were that bad and once you got on the mat, you were bad. You were bad. Um, but got through the first week, that was good. Second week, feeling better. Um, a lot of the moves that you know I had done the first week, I could hold them for longer and maintain my position for a longer period of time. I still could not get through her entire video, um, you know, back to back to back. I need to take a breather, but I could feel myself doing better than the first week. By the end of the second week, I could feel my abs and my core area feeling a bit tighter and just feeling like there's more substance there. You know, rather than just pooch, there's like stuff going on and that was definitely um, progress and you know motivation as well the third week I was like okay I've done all the routines I could kind of handle this I know all the moves I might not be great at all the moves but I think I can do this so by the third week you feel a lot more confident in what you're doing and um, you're familiar with a lot of her moves you know when she says grasshopper you're like I know the grasshopper or you know the windmill or whatever that she does the fire hydrant you know all those moves and you feel a lot more confident and comfortable turning the video back on and getting into your daily workout. By the end of the third week, actually even in the second week, um, but definitely in the third week, I could see in the mirror some visible upper ab definition. That center cut right there, I could see it. It's there. I still got it. I'm not going to show you today, but I still got it. And uh, that made me very happy because I've never actually had that in my life. I've never worked my core that hard that I could actually see some ab definition. So for the, by the third week, I got that started. By the fourth week, she was working in a lot of harder um, routines and videos, which I believe are generally part of her regular um, kind of workout routines. You know, she's put some of them into the beginner's calendar in the fourth week, just to ease herself into the regular workouts. So again, you know, building intensity, making some of the moves a bit harder or doing some harder combinations. She's put in one hit workout, high intensity interval training workout where you're just doing the moves back to back to back to back no break or like you know like a 15 second break or something like that and uh, there's also a lot another ladder workout which is um, definitely much more difficult of the fourth week but they're not so hard in the sense that you feel like you don't want to approach them at all if you have done every single workout and you've you're at the place where you're looking at the fourth week and you're seeing this workout it looks really hard. I feel like you, you are confident enough and uh, comfortable enough in your body that you feel like you can approach those harder workouts that she has planned in the fourth week. And uh, even though you can't get through the entire thing, you're like, it's not so bad, you know, I'm not perfect, but they're not so daunting as they seemed. I like the fact that in her calendar, she builds you up, um, the progress is there, um, you do feel motivated because you have the little check marks that you can check yourself off every single day. You can actually see some visible results in the mirror if you are consistent. I think consistency is key. She's got you working out six days a week. You better see some results. Um, I would say, however, you know, a couple of things to take note of if you are starting. Um, don't underestimate how hard the moves are and how hard the videos are. Um, don't underestimate how much time it takes, especially in the first week or two if you're starting out. Take, I would say, budget 45 minutes ideally, but budget 30 minutes, at least 30 minutes um, if you feel like your fitness is pretty good, and budget an hour if you feel like you're literally starting from ground zero. Don't feel terrible if you can't get through the whole thing all at once. I couldn't get through the whole thing all at once. I still can't get through her fourth week videos, you know, straight through. And if you do need to take a breather, that's why you have 45 minutes. That's why you have an hour, you know, take a breather, get back into it, but just finish it. I found that that was very important for me. 
you become a lot more aware of how awkward your body is and that's just kind of how it is everybody's body is different for myself i felt like i had a hard time laying my back flat on the mat i had to really work and take extra practice outside of my workouts to practice laying completely flat on the mat and being aware of my body i noticed i had weird joints in weird places and they poked and dug into the ground or into the mat really painfully sometimes um i felt like my tailbone was really weird some of you guys i know because you've told me you're kinesiology students let me know if it's normal that i feel my tailbone is very prominent and whenever i'm doing some of the leg lifts and lower ab workouts my tailbone is just digging into that mat and kind of hurts um as well you know for example my pelvic bone when i'm doing the side workouts laying on my side those are prominent. I didn't know it was an issue. And also sometimes in certain movements, you may find that your left body and the right side of your body do not feel the same. Um, in a couple of moves, my left side near my um, kind of abdomen area was getting some sharp pain that did not happen on the right side. But eventually it eased off a bit and now it's a lot better. So you will need to work yourself into that and you will probably notice in certain moves that your body is just awkward. But, um, you know, practice, I think. Another thing is that you need to probably take some extra time to do your stretches. As someone who has a gymnastics and dance background, it's a little bit sad for me to say that I have lost some of my flexibility because if you don't maintain it, it does go downhill no matter how you start it. But I pick it up really quickly after um, you do it every single day and you make note of um, doing the stretching, which is really important. So a couple questions for you guys. Do you think I should continue working on the blog a lot Do you think I should go um, try something else? I have looked at Body Rock, which some of you guys have recommended. That is really, really intense. And I feel like you need a lot of equipment for the Body Rock workout but that does seem to be very high cardio based um, again yoga with Adrienne is what some of you guys have also recommended I will look into that I am kind of more interested in that one but I do feel like I need more cardio in my life versus just the on the mat blog lattes um, another thing is that how do you guys wash your hair if you're working out six days a week my hair is bros okay and I don't want to wash my hair every single week uh, every single day you know like girl problems I know but it's true um, how do you maintain your hair looking decent if you're working out six days a week without having to wash your hair every single day because I don't want to do that. I know it wrecks havoc on my hair if I have to. Do you have a change of clothes every single day for every single day that you're working out? Or do you like just kind of wear dried, sweaty clothes two or three days in a row? Let me know. That's also an issue. I find that I don't have enough workout clothes. And if you have a great, great suggestion for where to get inexpensive or moderate of workout clothes, leave me a comment and some links down below. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I need to wash my workout gear every single day and then I don't have enough to change into, but I'm sweaty and it's gross. Girl problems, I know. <laughs> but either way, I hope you enjoyed this update. Uh, let me know if you've got questions and comments. For those of you who I know you are doing this vlog a lot with me, let me know how it worked out for you. Leave me comments down below, okay? I want to know your progress if you are, have started in the same month that I have and whether or not you plan to continue. So anyways, leave me comments. I'll chat with you down there in the comments down below and I will see you over on social media. I am everywhere. Links down below, links over here. Catch up with me over there. So until next time, take great care of yourselves and I'll see you very soon. Bye.